Hi guys, so we're going to quickly make a sangria. So there's red sangria and there's white sangria. White sangria is obviously with white wine. I'm using red wine, so it's red sangria. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in some of the wine. I'm using about a cup and a half, two cups of red wine, about two cups of berries. The berries include strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and cherries. And the cherries are obviously pitted. And the strawberries, I did go ahead and slice them a little bit. So um, after that, then you can go ahead and add the frozen berries. The frozen berries are more for like to keep it cold. So instead of adding ice so it doesn't taste too watery, I went ahead and added the frozen berries so it has more of a flavor. And the frozen berries tend to be a little bit more tart than the fresh berries, so it gives it a little extra flavor. I also did go ahead and add some lime and lemons. You can add orange, grapefruit, whatever citrusy flavors you like. I added about three slices of lemon and three slices of limes. And then um, once you're done with the whole mixture, go ahead and uh, mix it really well and you can smash some of the berries. Not a lot. I wouldn't recommend you smashing all of them because you do want them to be whole. It looks pretty and it, it, it tastes good without it being smashed, but I do smash them a little bit just to give it a little extra berry flavor. So um, this mixture, once it was done, I did go ahead and try it out and it was really good, but I did want it to make a little bit lighter version, so I did add some Perrier, one bottle of a small Perrier, I think it's about eight ounces, um, to the batch. So when I did take it to the picnic, it was a little bit lighter, it wasn't as heavy wine tasting. And just remember, you can opt out and make a um, juice flavor instead of the wine and that actually does taste better because it's sweeter juices are so if you're not going to use wine if you're uh, underage or whatever um, just keep in mind you can use cranberry juice grape juice any of those kind of juices will be really amazing with this and if you want you can even if you are using wine you can also mix the cranberry or grape juice with the actual sangria so however you like it it's your preference um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe and you'll try it um, yeah, and it's a really great summer refreshing drink that you can have by the pool or on a picnic as I took it along with me. Oh, also keep in mind when you're making this, make sure you make it fresh um, for the day. So I made this the night before, but then I also made a fresh batch for the picnic. Next thing I'm making is tuna salad. So I have some shredded carrots um, in there. It's about half a cup of shredded carrots, a whole can of drained corn. Make sure it's drained. You don't want the water in there. And also um, about half a cup of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whatever you guys call them. Um, and those, again, have to be drained. You don't want any water in there because then the water gives it an extra taste. You don't need that. And then one small tin of tuna. Um, and I use the... Um, chicken of the sea tuna and it is a water-based one not the oil one so mix that really well and then you can go ahead and add your dressing of choice and then mix it well and add salt and pepper if you think you need it the dressing I'm using is actually a vegan mayonnaise I know this recipe isn't a vegan recipe but that's what I used I'm not gonna give you guys a recipe of that yet just yet I'm gonna go ahead and perfect it and then I will go ahead and give you a final vegan mayonnaise recipe so the next thing is an egg salad and uh, what I'm going to go ahead and use is four hard boiled eggs and the machine you saw was how I boiled my eggs. I have a little contraption for that. And then you're going to need some celery, about four um, stalks of chopped celery. So you got to cut that up. I cut up my whole celery because I was going to use it later on to take to the picnic as well. I'm using it for like a dip. I'm taking hummus so I'm going to use carrots and celery. So I'm taking all of it. So I'm washing and cleaning all of it. But um, you need about four stalks of chopped celery to go into the salad um, and once the eggs have boiled then you're going to go ahead and peel them and chop them make sure you do rinse your celery so there's no dirt okay so that delightful sound meant that my eggs were boiled and ready to be peeled and chopped so right now I'm just going ahead and chopping my celery you can see in the little bowl behind you um, it basically is about like almost a cup um, of the chopped celery so if four stalks if you have a small celery um, stalks then you can obviously use more so it's about like I guess that you could say about a cup and then I'm using three um, French onions or green onions or whatever you guys call them I don't know everybody calls them different things or spring onions just have to clean them so sometimes you they have an extra peel that you can take off chop off both ends and then start chopping them up into little pieces and that's gonna go into the mix and also always make sure you wash all your vegetables guys I don't have to tell you guys obviously this but just always do and then once my um, hard-boiled eggs have cooled and peeled I, that I, after I peel them, then I chop them up and 
go ahead and add them into the bowl. So again, it's four hard-boiled eggs, and I'm just mixing everything in there together, and then I'm also going to mix in some garbanzo beans. Again, I'm using about half a cup of garbanzo beans and mixing it in there. The garbanzo beans are already in there. Once you got that all mixed, you can add salt and pepper, and then the dressing of your choice, which is, again, it's my vegan uh, mayonnaise. Um, again, this recipe is not a vegan recipe, but my mayonnaise is. And in the future, I will go ahead and perfect that recipe for the vegan mayonnaise, and then I will share it with you. It's not perfect yet. Right, guys I'm gonna go ahead and quickly make a fruit salad kind of basically it's like a fruity salad so I'm using some baby kale which is really good for salads they're lighter than the actual kale so I'm using uh, about half a cup of uh, baby kale and I'm also using half a cup of arugula so um, I did go ahead and put that there and then I'm adding some grapes they're red grapes seedless and then I also pitted some black cherries and I put those in there as well and then that right there is some feta cheese I did go ahead and crumble some feta cheese and I'm pouring that on top of the salad um, so this is really re nice salad it's like a savory and fruity salad so it's really nice but it's more fruit based so you'll taste it it's very refreshing for summer so then I'm gonna go ahead and crumble some pecans and I'm going to also put some pecans on top of that and then I'm going to put the dressing. The dressing again um, is not my uh, vegan mayonnaise this time. What I did was I put apple cider vinegar, some olive oil, and some lemon juice. I did about a tablespoon of olive oil, about a, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and I did uh, salt and pepper to taste and one whole lemon. Um, so you can mix it however you want it. You can put more of whatever you want of the taste, but that's the way I like it. And the apple cider vinegar is the best to go with a salad like this because you are putting the fruit fruitiness in it. You also don't really have to put salt and pepper because you've got salt from the feta cheese because it's salty and peppery taste from the arugula. So you actually don't really need to, but if you prefer, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the recipe below so you guys can see it, but that's pretty much how I made that salad. Hope you enjoy. And all recipes will be below in the down bar.